Hello there. Uh, welcome to Gretel Accounting. Uh, today we want to look at a question for our source documents. Uh, this is the question that we want to look at. Uh, uh, this is question two of that question paper. Uh, and this question, uh, we are going to go through this uh, 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 transaction that we are given there, and then we identify uh, this, uh, the source document and journal for each transaction. But we can start by understanding what is a source document. A source, a source document uh, is any document that supports a financial transaction that has taken place. We have got many examples of source documents. We have got receipts are coming with source documents. If someone buys on cash, is given a receipt. And then uh, if someone buys on credit, is given an invoice. So an invoice becomes also a source document supporting a credit transaction that has taken place. Uh, we also have bank statements uh, uh, coming in as bank, uh, as, as, sorry, as source documents. And then also if uh, debit notes, credit notes, uh, those are some of the examples of uh, of source documents. So uh, on our question 2.1, it reads, identify the source document and journal for each transaction. So the journal now becomes uh, the book of original entry. Uh, when when uh, a transaction takes place, uh, then a source document is issued. Uh, that transaction is recorded in the, uh, in the journal, which is the book of original entry. And then uh, information is then taken from the journal uh, and posted to the ledgers. Uh, so this is what we have. And then, uh, so the journals, examples of journals, we have got uh, the data's journal, the creditors journal. Uh, we also can also have a petty cash journal. Uh, those are some of the examples that we have in terms of uh, journals. We also have uh, allowance journals, ability data allowance journal, uh, and the creditors allowance journal. So this is what we have. Uh, so we can... Uh, Go through our transactions on 2.1.13, paid service fees, uh, cash deposit, and check book fees. So uh, we need to identify where uh, do we get this information in terms of the source document. But uh, the key uh, the key term that is there is that there's a check that, that is being used and uh, there's a payment that is taking place there. And uh, whenever this takes place, uh, the source document that we can get this uh, is the bank statement. The bank statement is that is 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 that's a document that is now uh, uh summarizing a list of any payments that have been made through the bank and any money that has been deposited in, in our bank account uh uh there. So this is what we have. So uh in terms of now the journal, which is the book of original entry, we have got the cash payment journal. So uh since we are we are being told that it's a payment, so uh, it means we are uh, we are going to record it. Uh, in the uh, uh, cash payments journal. So this is what we have. So we can go and uh, try, try to summarize the, uh, those uh, responses that we've uh, gathered there. So on the source document, we said we have got the bank statement here on 2.1.1. Uh, we have got a bank uh, statement. A bank statement. Then uh, in terms of the journal, we have got the uh, cash payment journal. So we can just abbreviate it as K. Uh, PJ is the cash payment journal. So uh, we can go to the next one. Uh, if we go to the next one, uh, it reads sold goods on credit. Uh, so the uh, uh, the key term that is there also is on credit. Something is being uh, sold on credit uh, there. So uh, whenever we sell on credit, we know that uh, it's, uh, it's being supported by uh, an invoice. We have got an invoice. Uh, so uh, obviously, uh, the source document uh, that we have there becomes a sales invoice. We have got a sales invoice uh, that we have there. So we can going to record a sales invoice. Then uh, in terms of the journal now, uh, so uh, we are we are being told it's on credit here. So it means uh, we have got a data uh, journal. The data journal is the one that uh, records uh, all credit sales that has taken place. So this is uh, when uh, we have uh, cash sales, uh, we don't record them in the data store now, uh, but we record it in the uh, in the cash uh, journal, uh, so in, in the form of the cash receipts journal, uh, to show that we've received uh, that money. So that is what we have, so we can go there and record uh, those responses, so it means here on 2.1.2 we have got a sales invoice uh, sales invoice Uh, sales invoice there.
Then on the journal, uh, uh, on the journal we have got a data a data journal, so we can just abbreviate it here, the data uh, journal. So we go can go on to look at the next transaction that we have there, two point one point three reads both stationary and paid from petty cash. Uh, so uh, the key we have got both there, and uh, we are using a uh, petty cash. So uh, in terms of uh, the uh, uh, source document, uh, remember this is petty cash. Uh, Petty cash payments are uh, 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 petty cash on, on its own uh, uh, represents the petty cash, petty cash payments represent the payment that have been made for minor items or uh, minor expenses that are being incurred in the business. The day-to-day -day expenses that we uh, expect to face in the business, uh, we regard them as minor since we regard them as insignificant. So that is what we have there. So uh, we are going to record uh, this uh, uh, these payments are going to be supported by the petty cash voucher. We have got what we call a petty cash voucher. So a petty cash voucher. So here we are going to have a petty cash. Uh, uh, sorry, a petty cash voucher there. Uh, we are going to have a petty cash voucher here. Uh, petty cash voucher. And then uh, this pet uh, this petty cash voucher is the source document that uh, supports uh, this uh, transaction. And uh, basically, uh, this is a small form that is used to document a displacement or a payment from a petty cash fund. And it also uh, it's also referred to as a petty cash receipt. So basically, it records those uh, uh, insignificant uh, expenses or small or minor expenses that we incur in the business in the day-to-day -day running of the business. So this is what we have in terms of uh, 2.1.3. Uh, and then uh, in terms of the journal, in terms of the journal, we can we are going to uh post them to the what we call the petty cash uh, journal. We are going to uh post them to what we call the petty cash uh uh, uh journal. So basically, this petty cash uh, is a system of awarding insignificant sums of uh, of funds to pay for minor expenses. Minor being small expenses. So this is what we so you can go and summarize this one in our answer section. That is two point one point three. So on two point one point three. Uh, we have as uh, a petty cash voucher being our source document, so uh, we can just write here petty petty cash uh, voucher. And then, in terms of the source document, we are saying we're having a petty cash journal. So, this is what we have. So, we go on to see what we have next now on 2.1.4. We have got retained goods to the creditor, retained goods uh, to the uh, credit. So we have got retained, which means these are returns, uh, these are allowances, and uh, these are, are being retained to the creditor. Remember, when you buy uh, goods on credit, uh, the, uh, the business or the person that you are buying from becomes our creditor. So uh, when we are retaining goods to that person, uh, we regard them as uh, returns or the purchase returns that have, have taken place on the act. Uh, we can regard them also as credit as allowances. So uh, in terms of the source documents, uh, so remember when we sell this book, so when we buy these goods on credit, they will be credited in the creditors account. So when we are retaining them, we go to the opposite, we debit them. So we are going to issue what we call a, a debit note. Uh, a debit note is going to be our source document. So we have got debit, uh, debit note here, uh, being our source document. And then obviously now, uh, in terms of the uh, uh, journal or the book of original entry, we have got the discount allowed journal. It's an allowance, so it's a discount. Uh, sorry, I say it's a credit tax allowance journal. So it's got credit tax allowance journal here. We have got a credit tax allowance uh, journal. So this one becomes our uh, our journal or book of original end. So this is what we have. So we can go and summarize that one. Uh, so here on source documents, uh, we are saying it's a debit note. Uh, debit note. And then uh, we have got our creditors allowance uh, journal here is our journal. Then uh, on 2.1.5, which is the next one, uh, we can come here uh, and write the bank dishonored a data check. The bank dishonored a, a data check. So uh, when it in a, when a check is dishonored, it means it is, has been rejected and it's not, it's not uh, going to be uh, uh, pro, uh, uh, processed. So the statement is reading the bank dishonored a data check. So a data was paid 
uh, was, was paying the amount due and that check was rejected, was not processed. So what does it mean? Uh, when it was, when it was, uh, when it was uh, initially issued, it was credited, it was supposed to be credited in the what, uh, in the uh, bank statement. Remember, whenever money is coming into our account, uh, in the bank account, it will be credited. But now it's, uh, it has been, in, is, it has been dishonored. So we are going to be the opposite side and debit it on the bank statement. So we are going to see a source document called a bank debit note, uh, a bank uh, debit note. So we are going to have a, a bank debit note being a source document. And uh, the journal obviously now becomes the cash uh, cash payments, uh, cash payment journal. So this is what we have and we can go and uh, summarize that one in our other section. So here we put a bank debit note a bank uh, debit note. And then in terms of the journal, we have got the cash payments uh, journal. So this is what we have, guys, in terms of this question on source documents. Uh, let's check, let's stay tuned for more videos to come. Those who have been subscribed, please subscribe and share. And with that, we'll meet again in the next video. And I'm signing out.